This video review was sponsored by Wondershare. What's up, Geeksters? It's me, Omar, from GeeksterLabs.com. How are you guys doing today? The product I'm going to be showing you guys today is something that was sent to me free for review from Blue Microphone. Today we have the Blue Microphone Nessie. And uh, this is a relatively new product that came out this year. And this is basically an adaptive USB mic for Mac or PC, retailing for $99. Uh, for those of you that are familiar with Blue Mic's lineup, they have the, another microphone called the Snowball, which uh, which still is kind of uh, neck and neck with this microphone. But there are some features about the Nessie that kind of uh, outdo the Snowball. So we'll get to that in a little bit. But I just want to get that out of the way. So let's talk about this microphone, guys. This is a cardioid microphone, unidirectional. So it's really good at rejecting sounds from other directions, but it's, all, but it's very good at focusing on what's in front of it. So this makes it perfect for recording uh, vocals, instruments, podcasts, voiceovers, or audio that you would use for you know, YouTube videos like this one right here. And I'm actually filming and uh, using the, the Nessie right now. So all the audio that you're gonna be hearing, this, hearing in this review has actually been recorded on the Nessie microphone. So one of the interesting things about the Nessie is that it does borrow some uh, pro features, if you will, from its big brother, the Yeti for Blue Mic. So some of the things that, that this microphone features is a headphone monitoring, which is pretty nice, with a variable volume, so you can actually adjust the volume on it. It does feature a, a touch mute switch, and it even has features like a shock mount and a pop filter. Now, shock mount is a little bit of a stretch, so this is not by any means anything close to the, a pro-style shock mount. But it does do a pretty adequate job of making sure that it doesn't pick up any kind of noises, like if you have it sitting on top of a table. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. It does feature a pop filter as well. I'm going to give you guys a couple of tongue twister tests later on, and we'll check to see how good that pop filter really is in just a second. So let's get back to the microphone here. One nice feature is the adjustable head. And so it actually makes it possible to point the microphone completely straight up or different directions to help you get a better audio quality. Another cool thing is the light up bass. Whenever you plug in the USB cord, it lets you know that it's plugged in when it lights up. When mute is turned on, it strobes so you know it's been engaged. It also has a really nice rubber ring on the bottom as well, which helps it from moving whenever you are using the adjusting volume ring. The microphone itself is predominantly made of plastic, so the, the major part portions of it are metal. So we have the front grille is metal, the back grille of it is metal, the base is metal, but everything else is plastic, the stand, the neck. Uh, the base, part of the base on top of it is it, and around the microphone itself. It's all plastic. But the, even though the materials are not uh, super high quality, it still looks like a really, really nice microphone. It definitely stands out when it's on your desk. And when compared to maybe the Snowball, which is just a big ball, if you will, and with a with a basic looking base. Uh, the Nessie is, is very sleek. It's very sexy looking. It looks very nice. It's, it's kind of something that Blue Mic has been known for is having a really cool aesthetic with their microphones. Um, there's tons of other microphones out there in the market that all look exactly the same, but whenever you see a blue mic, you know it because they have a little bit of flair to it. It's a little bit of retro styling, if you will. And so they've always been kind of known for that, and the Nessie uh, definitely lives up to that idea that blue mic has when it comes to making their microphones look really cool. Now included with the Nessie that comes inside the box is a USB cable. So this features a micro USB to regular USB and uh, the manual. And those are all the only things that come with the microphone itself. It does on the back, you will see that it has three different switches for different modes so the first one is voice music and raw and so raw would be something you would use for like doing manual post-production editing and it won't do any kind of automatic uh, adjusting for you while you're recording so overall i've been pretty satisfied with the audio quality let's do a couple of sound tests and i'm going to give you guys some examples of what the audio sounds like so let's do the quick test right now here's the first sound test i just want to have you guys hear what it sounds like to record on the nessie uh, blue mic while the ac is running so i'm gonna be real quiet real for a second here I'm not sure if you can hear that, but I have the AC running, and uh, the AC unit is actually above my office, so that's probably the loudest area in the house to where you'll probably hear it. So if you can't hear the audio or the AC, I'm sorry, in the audio, that's a good thing. Okay, guys, now, so now let's try to see what it sounds like uh, recording actual music or, or, the, or vocals. So I have my three little girls here, and they're going to sing a song for you guys real fast. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. 
So now let's do the tongue twister test. And so we do know that this, the Nessie Blue mic does feature a built-in pop filter. So let's see how good this pop filter is. So I'm about six inches away from the microphone right now, and I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, Peter Piper, okay? So here we go. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Did Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled peppers? If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? So that's actually not too bad. The P's, uh, I was kind of surprised when I started testing out this microphone. Um, I usually use a pop filter when I when I record with the uh, Yeti microphone, but as long as I'm a pretty good distance away from the Blue Mic Nessie, it doesn't really do, have any problems with the P's. So let's try some of the S's and SH's. So now we're gonna try seashells, okay? So bear with me here. She sells seashells by the seashore. The shells she sells are surely seashells. So if she sells shells on the seashore, I'm sure she sells seashore shells. So not too bad as well with the S's. Since it does feature that built-in, uh, it's an adaptive uh, processing on board, it's uh, it's it's doing a pretty good job of, of making sure that the uh, the S's are not uh, really sharp and too too in your in your ear. So um, overall, the the quality of this microphone is pretty impressive. I would have to say that if I had to pick between the Nessie and the uh, Snowball, I would probably go with the Nessie more for the fact that it does come with the headphone jack and the. Uh, the, the headphone monitoring and it does feature the volume control, the built-in mute switch, and the pop filter as well. Even though the shock mount is not at all in the in the realm of a, of a pro style shock mount, it does a pretty decent job when it's on your desk. Because normally the issue I have with using microphones on my desk is that it's a glass top desk. And it's the same desk that my iMac sits on. So the processor and the hard drive and, and the different things that are going on in my computer, you can usually hear it through the glass into the microphone that I'm recording on. So I usually have to put the mic like on top of a box or something like that so it's not directly on top of the glass. I don't usually have that issue with the Nessie mic, so I guess the shock mount that it does have is good enough to where it doesn't pick up all those vibrations and sounds and noises that the, the computer is making, which is pretty nice. Two areas where the Snowball outdoes the Nessie is the fact that it's not only a unidirectional cardioid mic, but that it's also an omnidirectional mic as well, so this allows it to pick up 360 sound completely around the microphone. The other thing is that it has a screw mount on the bottom, so if you want to, you can use it with different mounts like a high-end shock mount. And that is my review of the Nessie from Blue Mic. So thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions about this product, please post those below. I look at every single comment that's posted on all of my videos. So if there any, uh, you do have any questions, I'll make sure to answer those. And uh, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure you show some love to that like button down below. And if you do enjoy my content, also make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And, and of course, guys, always make sure to stop by GeeksterLabs.com for the latest in news and tech reviews. And I will see you guys in the next video review.